We've got quotes from our general manager, Chris Young, the Rangers general manager. We got a social media reply from Mitch Garver, which I think is really good news. I have a strong opinion on Otani and I have a trade opportunity for the Texas Rangers. All that and more next year on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. Hey there, my name is Jeff Bates of the Texas Rangers Clubhouse where we talk about the Texas Rangers, our general manager, the tallest general manager in all the land. Who is coming back as free agents? Are we going to make a trade? And is Otani going to sign? in texas i have some opinions i have some information let's share it all right now see why the tallest general manager in all the land like i already said kennedy landry had a article on mlb.com it might have been an interview on the mlb network i'm not really sure doesn't matter here's what he said chris young said i think we have unfinished business that's pretty nice to hear from the team that just won the world series we tied for the division and lost the tiebreaker and thereby we were the wild card team i think it would mean a lot to everybody to win the division. That is exactly the attitude I want in my GM. I love that. Yes, our Rangers just won the World Championship. Yes, we are World Series champs. And yes, we have more to do. Like, put the Houston Astros in the uh, rearview mirror. I cannot wait for that. They still seem to think in Houston Twitterverse that they're the better team, which is pretty dang funny if you ask me. They don't matter. I don't care. I say it because it's funny, but I like the attitude from Chris Young. I like this general manager so much. Obviously, who would you rather have as general manager? He has proven his worth with what just happened. Last year at this time, we added a couple of free agents named DeGrom and Evaldi and Haney. The year before that, we added John Gray and mm, Marcus Simeon and mm, Corey Seager. So all of us in Rangerland are like, come on, what's going on with the winter meetings? Well, we got a ring, so it's pretty good stuff. But I love that quote from CY. I love the article from Kennedy Landry. You can read it on MLB.com for the entire thing. Now, we need a DH. One of the things we need, we need a starting pitcher. We need bullpen help, and we need a designated hitter. Those are the needs the Rangers have in the winter waiting for spring training and the 2024 season. Mitch Garver was our main DH last year, backup catcher, main DH. And he had a social media reply, which I think is pretty exciting. I've got it right here. Baseball dugout says tag a major league or minor league player you're thankful for and see if they respond. Some guy named AJKN.OWLES. I hope I got that right. Mitch Carver, man, I'm going to miss you so much on the Rangers. Mitch responded and he said, who says I'm leaving? (laughs) <laughs> I love Mitch Garver. He's one of my favorite ball players on the team this year. What a clutch hitter. What a clutch performer. I was there for a bunch of games where he went yard deep into left field. Obviously, he was elite in the playoffs. Underrated, man. This guy won a silver slugger as a catcher for Minnesota a few years ago. Then he got he comes to us. Then he gets hurt. He's been an underrated, undervalued player for us. I love for us to resign him and keep him in Texas. Now, let's talk about Shohei Otani for a minute. Who says he's not signing in Texas? I've never said he was the favorite to sign here or the the, the obvious team would be for him to sign here. The obvious team has been and will forever be the Dodgers. Until someone else signs him, everyone, including me, will think he's going to the Dodgers. That said, I don't think he's going to Toronto. That said, I don't think he's going to the Mets. That said, I don't think he's going to Chicago. I still think the second most obvious place for him to come is Texas. I do. We have a DH spot. You want to play with these guys. You would be unbelievable in this lineup. He's got a track record of hitting like crazy here. And again, the tax situation alone. If you want to win, you want to come here to Texas. The tax situation, can you imagine a 500, 600,000, 500, 600 million dollar contract? And it's the effect on that being uh, no state income tax versus California, it's got to be massive. Like, it's got to be like 20%. I don't know. I'm not a tax attorney, but I can do some basic math. Seems to me this is the obvious place for him to sign. And I don't think what what little CY has said about it, Chris Young, the Rangers general manager, he's basically said, look, we are all in on everybody. So I, is there a surprise out there? I'm not going to say I expect it, but maybe maybe otani comes here i think he should i think we would love to have him and i think it just makes too much sense for us not to be 
even in the conversation anymore. It makes no sense. Why aren't we in the conversation? Because some baseball writers say so. Otani has said clearly any leaks get out and I'm not signing there. The leaks that came out, by the way, was he was um, meeting at a Florida spring training complex. I, I don't even remember with who the Mets maybe yesterday. So he's on the East Coast. I don't know what any of it means. I think we'll find out in the next week or two. Hopefully before Nashville meetings are done. I think he's going to the Dodgers. I think it seems obvious to me that he's going to the Dodgers. Um, but I would come here if I were him. And I still think there's a chance. That maybe I'm just being an idiot there. Last but not least, I got a potential trade for the Rangers to make. The Guardians are said to be shopping Bieber and Classe. Emmanuel Classe used to be ours. We traded him for Corey Kluber. Let's not talk about that. Shane Bieber is a stud. Classe, 44 saves last year, under contract through 2028. Bieber, 21 starts last year, 3.80 ERA. Solid starter, excellent starter, under contract through 2024 and 2025. I want them both. Apparently, they're both on the block. There's certainly reports of the Guardians. I still want to call them Indians. The Guardians taking, uh, listening at least to offers. Here's what I propose. Our number five prospect, Jack Leiter. Our number six prospect, Justin Foscue. Josh Smith, a shortstop. Sebastian Walcott our number three prospect, and your choice of either Brock Porter, our fourth prospect, or our ninth prospect, Kumar Rocker, and your choice of Aaron Zavala or Jason Morobel, 11 and 12th prospects. Let me go through each one of them and why it makes sense. I love Jack Leiter. I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be ready next year, not in the beginning of the season. At the end of the season, I think he could have a really, really, really good career. The likelihood of him being as good as Shane Bieber, mm, you know, it's possible. It's probably unlikely, but it's possible. I think Jack Leiter is a two or a three or a four starter in the major leagues. Maybe he turns into an ace. Maybe not. I don't know. I really, really, really like him, but you got to give up to get. Justin Foskey was our number six prospect. He's a middle infielder. We have Simeon and we have Seager. Where's Foscue going to play? Okay. Josh Smith, shortstop for us when Corey Seager was out. Their current shortstop is Gabriel Arias. He's 22 or 23 years old. Listen, they've got one good middle infielder and an open hole at shortstop. So they would be getting a starter and a long-term potential starter, Foscue, in the trade. Then Sebastian Walcott, he's our number three prospect. He's another shortstop. So he's not in our plans. He's not going to be ready till about 2028. He's a very young kid, but he's our number three prospect. The ceiling is huge with him. But Simeon is under contract for a long time. Then you get your choice of Brock Porter, who should be ready in 2025. He's our number four prospect. Or Kumar Rocker, bigger name, number nine prospect. I think they would go with Porter in this case, but give him the, the choice. Porter should be ready. Both Porter and Rocker should probably be ready in around 2025. 20, Rocker is probably a bigger risk, higher upside. Brock Porter, I really, really like. And then you get a choice of an outfielder. You can have our 11th prospect, Aaron Zavala, or our 12th prospect, Jason Morabell. I'm not going to pretend like I know much about them. I know they're ranked 11th and 12th, okay? I know the other guys. I think I know them pretty well, but I don't know the two outfielders, but they're ranked 11th and 12th. So the Guardians would get Lighter, who could be in their rotation sometime next year. Foscue, who could play for them. They've got a really good second baseman and a hole at shortstop. Josh Smith, who could start at shortstop until they were ready with, to put Foscue there. Sebastian Walcott, who will be a long-term potential star. And then either a starter in 2025, Porter or Rocker. And then an outfielder next year in Zavala or Morabell. One, two, three, four, five, six for two. Lighter, Foscue, Walcott, and probably Porter. For Bieber and Classe, who says no? I would love it. As a Ranger fan, I would love to have Bieber for two years in Class A for through 2028. The bullpen gets a lot better with Class A back. And Bieber for two years is pretty dang good. Sure, that decimates our minor leagues, but we don't need any outfielders and we don't need any infielders. So what do we really lose? Well, we lose lighter and we lose either Porter or Rocker in that. That's two real good pitching prospects for two really good pitchers. That's a win. Obviously, it mortgages a little bit of our future, but this is the window. This is the window. I think it's a lot to give up. I think it's worth it. Classe, Bieber, both undervalued on their contracts. It would be a huge win for us, but they would be getting, they, the Guardians, would be getting a lot back. Who says no? 
Who says no? Bieber, Class A for lighter, Foscue, Smith, Walcott, either Porter or Rocker, and either Zavala or Jason Morabal. I, I think it makes sense. What say you? CY, are you listening? Somebody forward this to CY. I'm kidding. He wouldn't watch it. But I love this as an opportunity, and I want to hear what you say. Let me know in the comments. Is this a trade that we should make? Is it a trade the Guardians would make? Who says no? Not me. That's it. CY quote, Mitch Garver, social media reply. I think Otani might still come here, even though I think he goes with the Dodgers and my potential trade for the Guardians and the Rangers day two winter meetings. It's been quiet. It's been quiet. Will something, will the shoe fall and the world start major league baseballs? MLB tonight last year had some country singer singing songs because, and it was fun. And it was, you know, I even tweeted at the, uh, the artist because you know it was fun but there's nothing going on at the winter meetings let's get this sucker rolling and i think the rangers and the guardians can do that with that trade i'm gonna stop talking now thanks for watching have the best day ever go rangers subscribe if you haven't already bye for now